Welcome back, everybody. So are you vegan curious? Maybe you want to eat healthier, make better choices for our planet. So there's a great place to get your plant-based products, some great ideas. And it's going to be happening on the second Sunday every month at that good, good market right here. And uh, recently back from the Olympics in Tokyo, we have Malachi Esdell joining us with uh, ideas of the market and what you will be doing. Good morning to you. Welcome home, out Malachi. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, I have all kinds of questions to ask you about being a plant-based athlete. We'll get to that later, but let's talk about that good, good market. What is this? Uh, what do you have there and how does it start? How did it all become together? So uh, it started off as just an idea. Um, pretty much me and my wife, we uh, just were traveling all over San Diego looking for the best vegan food as vegans do. <laughs> um, so we decided to bring it all together for just, you know, a special day to celebrate the vegan community and uh, just enjoy a bunch of great vegan food. So it's, it's for people of all sizes, all ages, uh, whatever walk of life you come from, it's just to enjoy a good time and good food with everybody around. So. So you were, you're, we're on the search for vegan food in San Diego, and you've compiled a lot of good ones, which we have right here, which looks so, so delicious. Uh, before we get to what you, uh, we have here in studio, talk about some of the di different vendors that you have at the Good Good Market. You don't have to be vegan to enjoy it, right? You don't, and that's the best thing about it. Um, the food is, is amazing, whether you eat meat or you don't. Uh, we just want everybody to come and enjoy and, and just kind of celebrate the vegan community and just know that we care about your taste buds too. Like <laughs> you're not sacrificing anything at all. So um, we have uh, food from all different different uh, genres of, of food. So whatever, you, whatever you're in the mood for, you can probably find it at the, at the market. So. All right. Yeah, no, I and I love what you brought us. So we're looking at a few options here. So this is kombucha, but it's called kombucha. Profits go towards animal rescue and raw and vegan. I love that. Pineapple ginger mint kombucha. I love that idea. Uh, what else do we have here? Cookies and cupcakes. Tell us a little bit about these. Um, yeah, so uh, kombucha, I love what they're doing. Uh, everybody loves puppies. So, yeah. you know, they're right <laughs> in my ballpark. Um, they just make uh, really good kombucha. Uh, Tracy's Real Foods, they make super good uh, natural vegan like almost like holistic holistic ingredients um and it tastes you're not sacrificing any of the taste so these are two really good products that i'm happy that are being sold at the market and i wait i want to try the cookies so I'm gonna enjoy. You yes can't please bring cookies go, and go in let me have a bite <laughs> double in. chocolate cookies the ingredients lentils dates gluten-free oat flour sunflower meal i mean this is all healthy stuff Mm. And it tastes great. <laughs> that is really good. It's so chocolatey. Uh, wow, that's impressive. Because you're right, like it's, it's hard to convince people who are not vegan that it will taste good, just give it a chance. Um, I've explored many vegan options as well. And this one, yeah, it's right up there. <laughs> very, very yeah, good. Makes me so happy. Love that. <laughs> yeah, no, and let's talk about the cupcakes too. These are so pretty. And there's a blue one. Who made these cupcakes? Uh, so that is... Uh, Milo's plant-based kitchen made those cupcakes, and I actually have had them. I'm gonna let you be the judge, okay. but- Okay, wait, I'm gonna I, bring the cupcake close. What is this blue one? I've never seen blue frosting made out of plant-based. What am I eating here? That one I actually haven't had before, but, so actually you could you could tell me oh, exactly what it is. You can be sweet. the taste tester. Ooh, you tell me all about it. Sweet and Stars. tart. <laughs> it is really good. So is this the huckleberry? I think it's the huckleberry, right? The huckleberry, okay. With lavender oh. and buttercream. Oh, man. Yeah, See, that, that is that's, uh, that's right up my alley. I love lavender <laughs> and I love buttercream. That's I great. I love that. It's <laughs> such good stuff. And then Eric over there, he's like chowing. So we have a meat lover in studio, Eric Connor. He loves his ribs and his steaks and all that. But uh, he has a pizza sure. that I'm like, Eric, hey. This You're is my to second wait piece. For the segment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I really, the onions, the sausage, just everything that's combined, and it has a really good taste. And the crust, mmm, very, very good. So, who makes that pizza? Let's see it in the camera. It looks, yeah, look at that. It's so cool. Pull this up here. Oh, yeah. All yeah. the colors in Eric. there. And the onions specifically are, are super tasty in this. <laughs> you already like, ate half yes, of that. Yes, I thing. have. It's true. Me a piece. I went for the largest piece first. <laughs> okay, so Malachi, what did you tell us? That pizza is brought to you by Slapped 
Firehouse Pizza, and they are amazing as well. Yeah, they are. Slapped. Okay, I like that. It's the She Fancy, right? That's what it's called. I like that. <laughs> These be She Fancy it right is. there. I'm feeling fancy. <laughs> That's awesome. Malika, you did good sending us this. Yes. And, uh, you know, our fellow meat lover loves it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I want to talk about you being a rugby player, uh, and you are also enjoying this vegan lifestyle, as you've been telling us. What's it like to be, you know, a high-performance athlete? Rugby is no joke, and you're able to do it eating plants. Yeah, well, after the Olympics, um, I feel like I'm the best example I can, like, give to people now. I, you know, a lot of my teammates are like, dude, how do you get your protein? How do you do yeah. this? How do you stay strong? And I'm like, it's really not that hard. And especially living here in San Diego, there's so many different options that I can eat. So I have no problem with like supplementing anything. So like as, lo as well as not sacrificing any of the tastes like of mm -hmm. foods, you can get all the nutrients and all like the proteins and all the healthy stuff that Right. That you and I'm like the perfect example for it. So I'm like so happy that I made the Olympics so I can just <laughs> rub it in people's faces. Like I'm vegan and I made the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that your fellow rugby players are like, dude, how do you get your protein? But for yeah. real, how do you get your protein? <laughs> Yeah, I just eat a lot. <laughs> you eat a lot. <laughs> Do you look for, what, is it beans, uh, things like that, that you kind of make yeah. sure you have in every meal? Yeah, beans, uh, plant-based um, proteins, like, you know, burgers and stuff. Uh, there's a decent amount in tofu. Yeah. Um, and then grains. Grains as well is, like, huge for me as well. So, yeah, nuts, okay. everything. And I've looked at your Instagram, Malachi. You have a lot of muscles under that shirt. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, and let's, how was Tokyo for you, by the way? Are you shy? <laughs> hey, you posted it. Uh, how was Tokyo? Was it a good time? Oh, it was amazing. Um, I'm just so happy that all the athletes that were participating got a, you know, they've been training for the past five years and they got to, you know, put forth their, uh, their best performances, you know, on the world stage. So I'm just happy that everybody finally got to compete for, you know, the goals they've been chasing for, mm -hmm. you know, some of their, their entire lives, you know, this is their goal for since, uh, since a youth. So it's amazing. It was an amazing experience. And, uh, the people of Tokyo were, were awesome. So yeah. it was great. And congrats to you for making it out there. That's huge. A rugby player uh, going out to the Olympics. We appreciate that. And you sharing your vegan lifestyle, I think, does spread that message to uh, more than people who are plant-based. Obviously, there's, you know, a whole world out there that might be curious about this. So, again, tell us real quick, the Good Good Market. When is it happening? Where is it going to be? So, that Good Good Market is August 8th. Every second Sunday of the month, it's going to be at 2995 Commercial Street in Logan Heights. And um, yeah, just come on by to have a good time, eat some good food, <laughs> spend it with some good people, and uh, and yeah. I will do that, Malachi. Thank you very much. I have a lot of eating to do. We appreciate it. And cheers awesome. with kombucha. <laughs> I'll send it back to you guys.